what do you say to somebody when they say, uh, there's glass in my wine? Yeah, well, you say you should put some wine in your glass. <laughs> but um, in, in the case of the, uh, these uh, tartrate crystals, like we have a trace in this bottle here, I would say, well, basically what's happened is the uh, organic acids in the wine have finally um, crystallized out a little bit. It's just a sign that, that um, you know, time, is, time and uh, temperature have caused this to happen. And it's, there's nothing wrong with it except that the last glass might be a little crunchy. Are they dangerous to eat? Do they change the flavor of the wine? They're not dangerous to eat. Um, good source of potassium. They change the flavor of the wine, though, however. Um, if you get these crystals, if and you, anybody can do this, you can go to your uh, cupboard and get some um, cream of tartar, and then put a little on your finger and then taste it. It's going to taste kind of uh, sour, sourish, and uh, you know, that's that's one reason when I'm tasting uh, unfinished wines or wines during the macer late maceration that I'll uh, try to clarify them either by just let allow them to settle or centrifuge them in, in a lab centrifuge so I don't taste any of the stuff in there. There's tartrate crystals floating around in there and they have a kind of a tartness to them and an angularity. So I want to, hopefully I'll bottle the wine without all of that stuff floating around in there. And uh, so I want to, if I want to see what the wine's going to taste like without that noise, um, that's why I do that. But it's essentially uh, what this stuff is, is uh, the organic acids finally uh, reacted out with other stuff that's in the wine.